Psalm 22. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He re restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, so Rosemary, can you tell me more about when it says that he restoreth my soul? What does that refer to? Well, I would say that it just simply is uh, the fact that a person is emotionally disturbed or unhappy or, you know, just not feeling well. And just because the Lord is with her, her soul is restored. Very nice. So um, in this last piece, they had talked about the preparation of a table, preparing a table. Or what, is that, what does that mean? I thought they were getting ready for something. The good shepherd kind of is out looking for that one unruly sheep. And he's got all the rest of them in, but he hasn't got the one. So he went out and went looking for him. And finally, finally, wolves and, and everything else were after him. And he still he was a stupid sheep. <laughs> anyway, he finally found him, put him on his shoulders, and carried him back. Thank you. So, Rosemary, if God, if, if we're saying that God has the ability to restore our soul in this lifetime, what can we expect out of the next lifetime? We can expect God to be with us all the days of our life, because this is what he said he would do. And if you can manage to correct any wrongdoing that you have done, there's no problem. 